see me? Yeah, yeah. Hopefully you should be able to. Okay, guys. So today, um, I'm going to be making a video sort of detailing a really big project that's coming, uh, that I'm going to do. It's going to be a really long project. Big, you know, many part series in this video. So, um, what it's going to be is I'm going to be building a homemade particle accelerator. So, it's going to take the um, electron gun from an old CRT TV, aim it through a piece of pipe, and collide it with little carbon uh, rods, electrodes, carbon electrodes that I'll get from a, an old lantern battery. Like this one, or this one's new, but an old one. And so, um, yeah, and then build some sort of detector to detect what's what's going on there. And so, um, the, the videos will probably be really short, and um, I'm not going to really explain what I'm doing in them very well, because I'm concentrating on doing it, I'm not making a video. And um, since I want to keep it in HD, there's going to be no editing, so I can't pick and choose the parts I want. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to be detailing what I'm going to go over here. Not detailed, really. More of a general overview. So, I take the CRT electron gun. Excuse the rattling on this. This. Old TV. Okay, as you can see, here's the TV. I've removed the, um, the dipole magnets that are used for the... Um, the uh, put it on something a bit higher. Reflecting coils. There you can see the electron gun. I've wrapped tape around the circuit boards and saran wrap around the bottom circuit board so it doesn't pull out. And um, there's your sc the screen. And that electron gun. Sorry, this tripod is very nice. Tripod. So um, you know, it's the only thing I got. So it's really unstable. Anyway, this electron gun here, that's going to be what um, it's going to actually shoot the particles. I'm, what I've done is, all I've done is remove the deflecting coil, you can see in the right corner there, and then um, I'm just going to leave the circuit running as it is. I'm not going to take it out of circuit or anything, so this whole circuit is going to be there whether it needs or not. So cut the electron gun off there. Um, the next video in the series will be actually cutting off a different electron gun, just testing out my method, making sure it works. Then once the electron gun is cut off, what I'll do is I'm going to install this electron gun right here into a little PVC pipe that's the exact length of from wherever I cut it to the edge of the screen to the edge of the screen right there it's that exact distance right before the edge of the screen I'm going to attach the um, anode flyback transformer and um, the anode is going to be attached to a little piece of metal with a hole in it and the electrons will travel through that, through the hole, and then right after that, like a centimeter or less than a centimeter after that, will be the carbon electrodes. Will be the carbon electrodes that are meant to be the targets. So that's my general setup. Um, it's going to be vacuumed, probably with a vacuum pump, from a old refrigerator. Um, I don't actually have one of those right now, so you know anything I can get. Um, and I still have no idea for some sort of t detector I could build that actually can detect something with reasonable um, clarity, I guess. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. Um, I've actually already filmed the first, the next video in the series, you'll see. I'm filming this one second, but, you know, keep in mind the series won't run. It, it, it will be very sp spaced apart, um, you know, because um, I'm really not going to be working on this all that much and until I get an old refrigerator or an old air conditioner unit for um, a vacuum pump, not much is really going to happen. From then I can cut this gun off and all sorts of other stuff. But um, So until then, that's my plan. If you see any faults in it, please let me know. Um, I, I've searched YouTube and I think I'm the first person to be doing it like this, to be using a CRT electron gun to collide with something as opposed to completely uh, building something yourself. But, um, or even the circuit to run the gun. I'm just using whatever's built into this TV circuitry here. Falling over again. So, um, this should fix that problem. Let's see. Okay. 
so whatever's in that circuitry will just be used. So, you know, yeah, make things as simple as possible. So, um, that's pretty much it. There's going to be no coils on it at all to focus the beam, because I turned the TV on. There's going to be a video of that a little bit later, of the TV actually turned on and running without the deflection coils. Um, that will also be in the series. That's coming up very soon also, because I could actually technically do it right now, but I don't feel like it in this video, because it's more of an overview. So, yeah, that's it. Pretty much. Thanks for watching.